So we're going to go first out to Eric Holthouse. He's a contributing meteorologist with the Wall Street Journal. He's going to tell us, first of all, what a, what a solar storm is. Okay, um, the sun, as everyone knows, is a star, and stars go through um, intermittent nuclear explosions. Um, one of those was directed two days ago at the Earth. Um, so parts of the sun are streaming towards the Earth right now, uh, charged particles. This is a, a, a relatively uh, common occurrence, but maybe not in the magnitude. We, we appear to be losing Eric there, uh, Eric's sound, um, and uh, I think we're getting it back right now. Continue, continue, Eric. Back up about 10 seconds. You there? Yes, we're, yes. we're, we're there. We can hear you now. Uh, okay, so the sun, as everyone knows, is a star, and um, intermittently goes through a period of, of uh, somewhat random nuclear explosions. Uh, this one was directed straight at the Earth, uh, which is not something to be too concerned about that happens all the time but um, not always in the magnitude uh, that it happened in the last few days. So, so um, this could be disrupting your air travel. Um, that's the message we're hearing. And, and notably, um, Delta um, is rerouting flights. Um, why is that? Why does, the, why does um, an airplane need to worry about what's happening in basically outer space? So the flights that were uh, rerouted were coming from uh, Hong Kong to the United States. Um, Oh, uh, the typical route for that is over the North Pole. Uh, the North Pole is uh, especially exposed to the radiation and the uh, radio disruptions, the communication disruptions that were coming as a result of the solar storm. So as a result, they decided to fly at a little bit more southerly route than they normally would have. Eric, uh, what did we do to make the gods angry for them to send this huge fireball full of radiation towards us? No, seriously. Uh, you know, what else could people expect? Is this does this hamper communication per, uh, uh, here on uh, Earth? Uh, what other kind of effects might we see meteorol meteor? I don't know how to say the word meteorologically <laughs> in, here in the U.S. or well, uh, uh, on the Earth. Yeah. Uh, as everyone knows, again, um, GPS communication is, is based on satellites, um, and communications between the Earth and satellites can sometimes be disrupted during these storms. Um, I was talking, I was at a meteorology conference in New Orleans uh, over the weekend and talking to one of the people that does these solar weather forecasts, and she was saying that, um, that a typical GPS um, measurement could be off on the order of, you know, 10, 20, 30 feet more than normal uh, over the next day or two. So nothing to to be worried too much about. Um, so, but, um, but, but but it's still it's still off if you if you're looking for really um, fine fine motor motor skills that with with your GPS, which would be would be odd. So um, I understand that the the northern lights can now be seen in my home country of Britain, and certainly in the northerly parts of it. Is that anything to do with this solar storm? Yes, uh, uh, yeah, of course. Um, the, the the northern lights is kind of a they're kind of a, visi a visible uh, um, manifestation of, of these storms. Um, and nor normally, you know, over very high latitudes, and, and they'll dip further south. Um, it could be visible in New York City tonight um, uh, um, if you look to the north. Uh, um, but we're, we're we're not anticipating that that could happen. But there was a storm last fall where 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 it was visible as far south as Alabama. Um, I know that uh, there hasn't been, I guess, a solar storm of this size in maybe ten years. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. Uh, but uh, is there any chance that someday we may see one that presents a bigger? Uh, um, uh, poses more danger uh, to our planet than, than these do? Yeah, uh, in the fall of 1989, there was a, a, a probably one of the largest uh, solar storms ever recorded um, that blacked out a large section of the province of Quebec. Um, when, when the storms are much more powerful than the one that's going on right now, they actually energize the electric grid. Um, those miles and miles of, of electrical transmission lines receive energy directly from the the the, the storm uh, and the particles coming from the sun, and sometimes that can blow out uh, transformers. Uh, and that's what happened about 20 years ago.